Hello everyone, and welcome to my review of the Transformer Cyberverse, Soundwave, and Laserbeak, as well as a review on the Transformers Bumblebee movie, Studio Series Ravage. So let's get right into the review with Soundwave. So first off, we're gonna just quickly take a look at the head sculpt. Just give me a second to adjust my- oh. Hello. There we go. So first, let's just take a quick look at the head sculpt. I, it, uh, as you can tell, it pretty much is just the Decepticon logo. And, uh, all, and all around, there's just really nice detailing. And just by looking at this, uh, you can easily tell that it's the only because those Hyperverse designs are pretty much just updated versions of the G1 designs. And some characters do have slightly different alt modes, like, for example, Soundwave. Um, but, like I said, we also have Laserbeak and Ravage. So, taking a look at Laserbeak, uh, as you can tell, it's just pretty much G1 Laserbeak. With the, uh, but just without the actual thrusters on the back. And, uh, for the posability for Laserbeak, we're just gonna quickly get to. Oh, oh. Wings can move in and out, uh, so they can move out that far, and that's about as far as they go. Head can look down that far, look up all the way, so you can get pretty much like that this action, where uh, they flip their head back and then just forward and then down. Uh, the legs can move, move in and out, so they can move all the way to the side for transformation. And they move down that far. And speaking of the transformation for Laserbeak, let's get into it so I can show you one of the gimmicks with Soundwave. So first thing that you're going to want to do is just flip the head all the way back. And then once we've done that, we're just going to come to the bottom. We're going to take the feet, just going to bring them out to the side, and here's Soundwave in his tape mode. Uh, as you can see, there's no really new detail revealed. It's just pretty much Laserbeak folded up. But now that we have him transformed, we're going to pick up Soundwave. And what we're going to do is we're going to open the chest. And we're just going to take laser beak here. And we're just going to put him into there. And close it up. So now that we've done that, uh, let's get down to the RC version with sound wave. So this back uh, panel can move up and down for transformation. It can move all the way down for transformation on the back. And it, can't, and it can go up that far on that hinge. Head can do a full 360, the back is hollow, but it can do a full 360, there's no light piping. Uh, arms can do a full 360, they can move in and out, 90 degrees at the elbow. Wrists are on a ball joint, uh, and they can move down for sword, for sword wielding wrists. Uh, there is, oh, this does come detached in the box, I should mention, so you can use it as his um, gun or his shoulder cannon, it's up to you. So that's why that's there. Uh, there is a full waist swivel. Legs can move forwards that far, back that far, out to the side that far. Uh, there is 90 degrees, there's uh, maximum knees actually. Maximum knees right there. Uh, toes can move, uh, there's no toe up. Maximum toe down, it can go all the way around for transformation. And for the ankle pivot, you can use it, but it only goes about that far before snapping back and uh, before uh, it gets restricted. So now let's get into the transformation, shall we? So the first thing I should mention is you can choose to take this off or put it on, or you can keep it on. It's easier if you just take it off. Uh, because otherwise it will most likely go flying off. So we'll just move that off to the side. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to bring this back panel out. Rotate that in. And bring that down. Now what we're going to do is we're going to grab this entire backpack. And we're just going to bring it around so that these two pegs plug in to right there and there. Next up what we're going to do is we're going to take the wrists. And we're just going to bring them in all the way. Uh, we're then going to make sure that these side panels are up. We're going to rotate the wrist so that um, 
so that uh, where the fists are, are is facing outwards. So that we can then take this entire panel, connect it to the wheel, bring it around. We can then close this, and then this uh, tab is going to peg it in right there. So we're just going to bring that, bring the arm out and around, and then we're just going to make sure that this aligns right there. And just try to tab it in. And we're gonna do these, and then we're gonna make sure that everything is just aligned so that this is fully just uh, flush with the side. We're gonna do the same thing on this side. So we just take this entire panel, detach it from the wheel. We are gonna move that down, bring it out, and just tab it in right there. That's just gonna peg it in right there again. The second one is, in fact, harder to do. There we go. Everything's flush with the side. We just bring that down. Now we can take this back. If you took it off, just plug it back on. So now we are just going to bring this, uh, the butt flap down. We're going to rotate this around. We're going to plug the legs together. Then we're going to uh, flip the feet around. Then we're gonna take this entire assembly and we're just gonna bring it in so that these this uh, these two tabs plug in right there and there. So we just do that. And now we're just gonna take this flap, bring it out, straighten it out, and then just take this part, flip it up, and here's Soundwave in his vehicle mode. So it rules fairly well. Um, and the detail on it is, uh, very, uh, nice. There's the headlights right there. There's the gold from the robot mode. Uh, you can see the robot mode arms there, but that's pretty much it for Soundwave. Although, I should mention, he does also come with a blast effect. I don't know where it is, as always. But if you look at images of him, you can see the blast effect. So now let's move on to core class, Ravage. So, as you can tell, it has the Bumblebee movie aesthetic. It does look like Ravage, uh, except one thing to note is that uh, instead of him being a cat, he's a dog. So that's something to note. But otherwise, he's just pretty much been put through um, the Bumblebee movie uh, aesthetic. But otherwise, this is just Ravage. So let's get down to the trend uh, posability. Uh, head can move up that far, down that far, mouth can open that far. This back part can rotate because it's just pegged in. Um, arms can do a full 360. I'm not gonna show you because this does get prohibited. Although you, so you do have to move it out a bit, or you, uh, or you like, have to maneuver things around it. But it is possible. Uh, 90 here, forwards and backwards, and then there's this wrist rotation. Back legs is the same thing, except you now also have this extra joint. Uh, tail can move up that far, down that far, and these can do a full 360 because they're just pegged in. So let's get into the transformation, shall we? So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna take this uh, part, I'm just gonna unpeg this back cannon, and we're gonna plug it into his stomach right there. Next up, what we're going to do is we're going to take the head, flip it down, bring the arms straight out. Now that we've done that, um, this tab is going to peg in right there, right into that small hole. So you're going to just bring the leg around until it pegs right in. All right, there it is. Okay. So it pegs right in. And same thing on this side. And there. Now that we've done that, what we're going to do is we're going to take this entirety of this back part. And we're going to bring it down and around. We're then going to take this back part that's been left, bring that down. And we're going to take the legs and basically just fold them up. So I'm just going to remove that so that you can see it better. 
until it looks like this. And then you're gonna use this peg to plug in right into that hole. So like that. And same thing on the other side. We just bring it, uh, oh. We bring it around and then we just fold that back and make sure that, and then we're gonna just bring these back if they fell off for you. And we're just going to peg them in. Oh wait, uh, you peg them in right to this back part. But you wanna make sure that these, oh, hello. Uh, you're gonna wanna make sure that these parts are facing inward. So when you peg it in, it should look like that. So we're just gonna do the same thing for the other one. Just gonna come here and we're just going to peg it in. So here's it in his, I guess, what is his tape, just his Cybertronian device mode. So as you can see, it's just a box. Uh, there's not really any new detail revealed, but that's what it looks like. But anyways, I hope you've enjoyed my review of the Transformers Bumblebee movie Core Class Ravage and the Transformers Cyberverse um, Deluxe Class Soundwave and Laserbeak. Uh, if you'd like to, please leave a like uh, and subscribe and share the video with anyone who'd enjoy it. And leave a comment down below telling me your opinions on the figure. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!